All right, so I'm out here working in Montana and I had a highly anticipated package arrive today. Something that'll come in very handy this summer. It's the Echo Flow Wave 2. So I just wanted to open it up for you guys, show you what it came, kind of how it fits in the Scout, and uh, where I'm gonna put it, if it's gonna have a permanent home or <clears throat> if I'm gonna have to set it up and take it down. So we got the ducting, so those there. Those clip onto the unit itself. Here's the ducting hoses. Oh, power cord inside. Uh, oh, that's the drain condensation drain hose. Not quite sure if that's for anything other than the little clip here. Instruction pamphlet. Another little shroud for the uh, to connect the ducting tubes to the vents on the unit. <coughs> Giant chunk of foam. Wow. And then the unit itself. Ah, oh, it's not as big as I was picturing. Thankfully, this is a, a Yoho, Scout Yoho, so it's quite small, but man, it's nice looking. That's actually the back. Here's the front, wow. It looks really cool. Display up top. It's a sharp looking unit. Oh, I love the color. It's a like a gunmetal gray. That is awesome. <clears throat> then the only thing in here is the uh, DIY window vent board. And that's to cut your penetrations to vent these outside through whatever size uh board or whatever you'd use maybe like a, a a foam board to insert in in your window and then cut these size holes through it i am contemplating doing a bulkhead penetration with like a syllable uh like a boat inspection port if i can find one that locks uh i'd consider doing that so let's move this outside. <clears throat> then I also opted for the battery. says it'll run on a low mode for up to eight hours, which is pretty impressive. Instruction pamphlet. Chunk of foam. And the battery itself. So it's got some rubber feet so it doesn't slide around. Oh, it's got a nice little carry handle. So we're going to do some shuffling here. Set this off. Set this down. And then the only thing, other thing in here besides more foam packaging to keep it safe is the plug that connects the battery to the Echo fall away too. <clears throat> yep, 
yeah, this is going to be a must. It's uh, mid-May. And the days have been only about mid-70s. And it's quite hot in this camper as it is. So that snaps on easy enough. Remove that sticker from that door. That slides open to expose the connection ports. And we'll take our plug. Okay, it's shaped so you can't mess that up. Snap that guy in. Let's see if it has any power on them. Oh. And uh, there is a charge on it. it. Says it's halfway. And it's kicking on. <laughs> So it's running currently, <laughs> it's set to uh, 64 degrees, so it's actually cooling now, as indicated by the blue bar. As you see, it's currently, uh, I think it's set to 64, and it's currently 68 degrees ambient. Let me see. Nope, I'm incorrect. It's 66 degrees. It says it's set to... Hmm. Oh, maybe it doesn't read the ambient. Anyway, I'll have to read the instruction manual <laughs> when I want to go to sleep. But it's working so far. There's a... indicator lights here for the charge on the battery since it's about halfway I don't know what this button does so a USB A and a USB C port over here I do like that it's uh, a <clears throat> has a cover on it yeah and it's it's blowing really cold Awesome. Well, I'll let it charge up. I was hoping to fit it here between my fridge and the counter space, but I don't know that I'll, it'll have the space. It looks a little bit too wide. But uh, yeah, that's the echo flow. Wow, it's blowing really, really cold. That's kind of cool. It's really quiet too. I don't know what the fan speed's set on. So that's a high fan speed. And it's not loud at all. That's fantastic. And it is really cold. I think I don't think it's gonna have any trouble cooling down this Yoho very fast. As you can see it's not that big. Now, just 